Hi everyone, Cinder here, and welcome to the descent into zombie madness that is Last Dream World Unknown. Basement 6. Let's see what enemy awaits us here. A recolored right? Yep, dark white. So that's what that's how it's gonna go. Seems like every three floors we get it's the same set. It'll be zombie, was it ghoul, and then white. But then they get stronger and stronger, and the uh, spirit will improve as well. Alright, let's get through this floor. Ugh, viral infection. Heaven's Light. Fire 7. Is that enough? Yes. Even without fire seven critically so we'll just continue on this way for now and then see how long we can continue to do this joy I said a five <laughs> I just cured that disease <laughs> Enemy, why? <laughs> Position. Magus ring? Berserker ring? Shaman ring? Shepherd ring. Shaman ring. Increase int by 50 and MP by 75. I like that. Shepherd ring. Increase HP by 75 and defense plus 50. I may give up the MP and wear that. Berserker ring. Attack plus 50, critical plus 30. You want to do more damage. And Magus ring. Magus ring, a int plus 50, preempt plus 50. Hmm. Be good if I want Psy to go faster. This, he, by doing this, we'd get a bunch of int and MP. It's just so hard to give up half MP cost. Even though I feel this could be better, we get a boost of 50 int and 75% more MP. That's really, really good. It's just hard for me to give up half MP cost. <laughs> um, I think I will give up my MP, though. And I'm going to wear the inflation ring. I'll lose all that MP, but I gain defense, making me even tankier than I am. These rings are really good, these accessories we're finding in here. Okay, let's clear this out. Best we can. Let's just try Fire 8, see if, how that works. If it had magic defense on it, that would have been even better. <laughs> nope, fire eight's not enough. Ugh. That was not a good turn. Might as well get something out of it. <laughs> we'll get some MP out of it. For Psy. Before that one attacks us, since it's just running all over the pace, place, super excited, wanting to attack us. Gonna have to tell it, hey, chill out for a minute. <laughs> <coughs> we will get to you shortly. Um, 
defense and magic defense, but I lose HP. I like having all the HP. Okay. See? We're back. Just hold your horses. <laughs> I want to fight! I want to fight! I want to fight! <laughs> Brains! <laughs> Phoenix asses and a resurrection elixir. We can make another one. Of the essence of the phoenix, which is awesome. Position. Cure for. Oh. Can't go that way. Okay. Oh, can't go clockwise anymore, so. We shall go counterclockwise. In there. There. Okay. <laughs> can't do that either. Through the middle, then. Here we go. Oh, there. Yep. So we're going to have another boss after these three floors. We need to be prepared for that. That This may be too tough for us right now, considering how hard the previous boss was and just how hard it was to keep up with the bleed. If he has even more bleed status effects, it may prove to be too difficult. But we'll definitely give it a shot, because there should be a save point around here. Just in case, if you weren't playing with save anywhere. X. I will try to drain MP from the boss, as well. To see if that helps. Ruby Staff? Ruby robe, ruby armor, ruby sword, so ruby equipment. I'm excited to go down further and see if we can find something even stronger than ruby equipment. How crazy would that be for right now, since ruby's the, the strongest we've seen. But <coughs> as usual, we're going to make sure we completely clear out this floor. Keeps using Hex. That's not great that you hexed Finn though, because now all the enemies are going to go. Oh no! She's still faster. Neat. And still did enough, even with the lowered int. Awesome. The evil spirit is really annoying. There we go. Just do that. Just do a basic attack on me. <laughs> do that every time. <laughs> Right, there's the save point. And three enemies and two more treasure chests. And that should do it for everything in here. And then we'll give the boss a try. Oh good, Walking Dead missed. Awesome. There's a Walking Dead joke in there somewhere, but I don't watch the show, so... <laughs> uh, not for me. I have a few friends that love watching The uh, Walking Dead. I just never... Not my kind of show. To be fair, I really don't watch that many shows anymore. Azure Gloves. We'll check those out after this fight. Sure. 
There we go. Thank you for the basic attack. Azure Gauntlet. Okay. Sky Blue Gauntlets that half MP cost. That's awesome. The gauntlets are what's giving me the double SP gain. I may give those to Gwen. Azure Gloves that half MP cost. The gloves are giving Finn double MP. SP gain. Oh, I like double SP gain. But I'll go get orbs <laughs> from casino or somewhere. Find orbs. Do extra fights. Having Finn with double with half MP cost. Does it stack? No, it does not stack. Because <coughs> I remember Divine Intervention costing 250. So it doesn't stack. Because Physician Heaven's Light was 90. So instead, here's what we're going to do. We change out the Thaumaturgical Ring for the Shaman Ring and give her 50 more int and 75% more HP. I could do that or the inflation ring and then she has more HP. I don't feel like I need the HP right now. We'll see. May need it against the boss if the boss hits really hard. <coughs> Congratulations. Finn, you have broken 10k MP. Yikes. <laughs> All the MP. That's fun. I like that a lot. As for the gauntlets. Have MP cost. If I gave Gwen the gloves, then she'd still have double SP and I could give her a different ring. <laughs> so many choices. Oh yeah, Mercy Harris gives me instant death immunity, which I do like. Is an I lose double SP gain. Okay. I'll do that. Gwen can have double SP gain through gauntlets instead of the gloves. She doesn't need the skill for ring now. Because that probably doesn't stack. I could give her the berserker ring. And then she'd have way more attack and critical. So she could do even... She could do more damage. Give her HP MP. Give her extra defense and magic defense. Um, I mean, we would definitely go with one of one of these. Let's go with the Berserker Ring. Plus 50 attack and plus 30 crit. I feel okay with her not having all the HP right now. All that extra HP. So me and Finn lost double SP. But we have we had double SP for quite a while. And we can always re-equip like rings if we need to and use orbs cuz I should have a lot of SP orbs. Yeah, I have 74 perfect SP orbs <laughs> and have um a varying amount of smaller ones. So feeling feeling okay about that. We need SP for, for skills. 
Okay, awesome. Those were great finds in here. We're getting some great finds. There's the save point, which you would definitely want to use before fighting the boss. I just like its Azure stuff, too. That's awesome. Mutated White. It's going to go poor, poorly, but we will try. First thing, Meat Shield. <laughs> Everything already costing half. I wonder if, if Mana Surge stacks. Half MP cost an int plus 10 for the battle. And then everything that cost a fourth. That'd be interesting. We're going to do that. We're going to hamstring to lower defense, agility, all of that good stuff. Um, immune to insta-death, just in case. We'll start with that. And... Osmosis. Start with that. The meat shield hit me. Whoa. Didn't get a lot. Infected bite. That's fine. That doesn't. That won't hurt me. I'm gonna use mana surge just because I'm curious. Will, um. Komodo Fang. Let's use. Let's give everybody's everybody defense. Holy Shield. Can't use that now. I don't want a godlike yet. First cast. So Psy can go, go for the Komodo Fang. Holy Shield. Mana Surge, and we'll see if MP cost is cut in half again. Barrage. I can take that. That's fine. No, doesn't stab. You can only half MP once. <laughs> no matter what it looks like. So that's fine. Reckless Frenzy. Start going down this road. Ultra scan. Um, I used Holy Shield, right? Yes. Everybody does have Holy Shield. Um. So everybody has defense. Cure. And. Godlike. Like a godlike next turn. Osmosis again. Just in case. Ultra scan. Cure four. Reckless frenzy. Or even more attack. Huh. <laughs> Just barely survived. <coughs> okay, that was bad. Emmy did not hit me. Alright, let's go. Septuple stab. Um. Hunter's poultice. Healer's touch. Godlike. You go first. Sigh a little bit of HP back. Because this isn't going to immediately kick in the healer's touch. Septuple stab. Take a bunch. Now he'll start healing. Okay. I <laughs> Do a bunch, did a bunch of damage, but you didn't take a lot. <laughs> um, this is going to take a while. Since Reckless Friendly only lasts five turns... Three turns left on it. I want to get what I can out of it. Because I needed to devastation. Oh, I'm gonna use devastation anyway for the minus defense. Agility and preempt. Enemy's not that fast, so. 
Reign of Death. Um, hmm. I don't know. Doesn't really have to cast anything right now. Take this time to cast Dissolve. Continue to Osmosis. Again, just in case. Reign of Death! Turbo Critical! I saw that! Remember, Finn now, ha or, uh, Gwen has over 200 crit. So she can get higher than a, than the super critical. She can get turbo critical. I like that. I think that's so cool. And the critical continuously goes up. Well, Whirlwind Massacre, Komodo Fang, Heal 4? Because I'm, I'm going to godlike Gwen. Take 10k. That's one of those. Okay, this one's going much better so far, but the other, the first boss started pulling out the really nasty 250 cuts after he was down like 50% HP. So we don't need to... You know, we need to be careful. We'll cast regen while we have some time. And continue to osmosis. Hamstring. Alright, again. It's a temple stab. <sighs> Missed two. Yeesh. Um. Ultra Scan's gonna run out. Reckless Frenzy's gonna run out. Godlike runs out next turn. So we'll Reckless Frenzy. Ultra Scan. Null all, just in case. And. Start doing damage. Annihilation. Take 15k. To scan. Make sure that's back on. And Reckless Frenzy. Make sure I keep that attack buff. Even though I lose defense. Double stabs on cooldown. I can check the enemy, but I don't remember how. I'll cast Devastation this turn anyway. So, um, what's my godlike at? Ends this turn. Devastation. Komodo Fang. Quicksilver. <laughs> and uh, recast Godlike. Komodo Fang. Turbo critical for 11k. Almost 12. I like that. It, I love that the critical gets better and better. I think that's awesome. Oh, there we go. There we go. Minus 25% HP per turn. In that one turn, because it also hit pretty hard, it did about half my HP and damage. See, now it's going to start pulling out the tougher, the tougher moves. Healer's Touch. I can't tell if that used MP or not. Cast Annihilation. 12k critical. Reign of Death. Healer's Touch to get rid of the bleed. 
this turn. It's a tuple stab. Oh man, missed three of those. <coughs> Not cool. Whirlwind Massacre. Komodo Fang. Um. Cure four. <laughs> Gonna get all that MP back. I'd like Gwyn. Oh, Miss Komodo thing. Sad. Gosh, that's fine. That's okay. That's way better than that. That move you did was it vicious? Vicious something? That's taking MP. You don't have MP left. Huh. I'm glad I used osmosis over and over like that. That's what I wanted to happen was to not have um, to not have the, that the skills would take MP and then not have any. Maybe not have any. Holy shield! We'll recast that and we'll cast annihilation. Okay, all in all, this one went way better because it didn't get the 250 cuts bleeding the entire party. That was really vicious. All the hits we've been able to take. Had that one really powerful attack, but now the enemy's out of MP. So I say definitely, definitely use Osmosis and take what you can get. Fire 8. Oh, that didn't work as well. Komodo Fang for 10k. I'm curious how well Heaven's Light will do. Ooh, critical for 9. That's not bad. Go away. That went much better for, for my type of party. My party. That went way better. Dark White Bone. We have that now. Now, same thing, it's going to be blocked off. Yes. Rubble makes this area impassable. You'll have to see the commander about having the remaining soldiers clear the rubble. I'm curious, can I warp out of here? Or do I have to walk all the way out? Warp. Warp doesn't work here. I figured it, w it wouldn't. Um, still... We found some great things here, and got some really good accessories, pieces of equipment, and we're still doing okay, so I say let's go even further down. I'm going to get all the way out of here, and we'll also turn in the, we'll also turn in the bones and stuff that we have. So, let's do that now, then I'll end the episode. I'll show off the shop, what goes into the shop. I will get the rubble cleared. Then we'll... Then, then we'll end the episode. So far, so good. Like I said, we've gotten some really good stuff out of this. Really good stuff. I mean, we, we have ruby equipment, and we have the fancy azure equipment, but I'm curious, are we going to find, what are we going to find further? Are we going to find something better than ruby? Should be the last floor, right? Yes. Yeah, over the guard. Back again? Thought you'd be dead by now. No, guard. Go back to the world of the living. No, we're fine. You know the drill. Let me know if you want to go back down. Okay. I need you to clear out more. 
<clears throat> I'm slowly taking your taking back your military outpost from the undead one floor at a time. <laughs> Whoa. That, that threw me off. You actually stoked a small bit of hope in me that we might actually defeat this menace. Please be careful, though. The source of this pestilence is unimaginably powerful. It will not get easier. Oh, I figured that. Sorry, it just, uh... I don't know if this is going to show up on the recording or not. Scream blinked at me, so missed what the outpost commander said first. Sorry about that. After all the horror we've seen, I won't take any chances, so it may be days or even weeks before we're ready to clear the rubble. More rubble blocks your way to the seventh floor? Since you've exterminated the creatures on the first six floors, I'll prepare my men to clear the rubble. Okay. So that's what he said to start with. Good. Now we got that. Here you go. Samples are enough to complete my research. Please see my colleague. Haven't acquired samples from the seventh basement. What tonics you got now? And I know they're expensive. Champion tonic. Attack and defense. Conjurer's tonic. It and magic defense. So these are the two new ones. We had ambusher, precision, and inflation. So I'll buy a spare champion, a spare conjurer. Regeneration potion. Restore 250 HP per turn for one ally for an entire battle. I like that. It doesn't sound like much, but it could help stave off bleed just a little bit longer. Got all of that. We keep the evil spirit essence. Oh nope. Took the uh took the other stuff now, so we don't have any of it. Okay, well. Still All right, that is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to make my way down to the uh, to the sixth. Make my way down to the sixth floor, and we'll explore the seventh floor basement and see what zombies await us there. Until then, hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.